man, it's crazy, man. You know, every day, you know, waking up now is just crazy that, you know, he got here to the highest level. Uh, he beat all the odds, you know, prep school, junior college, and he worked his butt off. So I'm very proud of him. Uh, he listens, you know, and uh, he learned a lot, you know, these last few years. And I'm just happy for him, man. Now, compare the Delon that's here in Las Vegas to the Delon that was there back at your house at your draft party the night that you got picked. <laughs> Man, you know, he was a, just an annoying little kid. He kept grabbing me, talking about, when are you going to get picked? When are you going to pick? Hey, why didn't you call your name yet? And, you know, it was cool, you know, to, to have that same type of party, some of the same people that was at mine there, you know, people uh, that really care and genuinely, genuinely want to see us do good. So uh, it, it, it was awesome, man. So I'm just happy, you know, to see him here. Here, man. Now, you had a different road to the NBA. You came straight from high school. You had quite the reputation coming in, and then you went to the Miami Heat and were part of the Heatles. He had a very different road to the NBA, one with a bit more challenges. Talk about how proud you are of what he went through and the fact that despite the challenges, he's now here. Yeah, you know, him going to prep school and that not working out for him, then him going to junior college. And, you know, most guys that go to junior college, they don't get to this level. And, you know, he just stuck with it. You know, he kept his circle tight. He listened to the right people. He kept my mom and dad in his ear as far as staying grounded do your work because that was the biggest thing is stand on your school work and uh, you know he did it he went out there he played well and uh, now he's here on the highest level playing and competing now at the highest level so now is the big brother who's played in the summer league played in the NBA played in the finals played in the playoffs what what are the lessons that you pass on to him as he goes through this next phase of his life? Um, just do what you do, man. You know, be a facilitator, you know, be a playmaker, uh, play defense, you know, be the head of the snake. You know, that's what most teams need when they, when they have a young guy, especially coming off the bench. Just go out there and play and have fun, you know, play hard at that. So and he understands that. He's very coachable. Uh, he's going to soak up all the information that coaches and, you know, other older players give him. So uh, I'm happy he's in Toronto with a lot of people I know. So I know he's in great hands. So he just got to go out there and do his job. And uh, the last one I have for you here is draft parties. Your draft party, little potato salad, little chicken, mom and dad's house. His bit different. What I hear is you took the reins. How did that feel? What was that like? And what were the preparations like? And it was crazy just planning that whole party. We was just really trying to find a venue that was going to be able to hold all the people we knew that was going to come out. So I had fun doing that. We made a nice little video for him after he got picked. And, you know, just getting, giving everybody the invitation. It, it felt like, uh, you know, a, a real big brother proud moment, you know, just putting that together for him and because he deserved it. You know what I mean? I did it at my house, a little small house. He had it at Hyde on Sunset. So that was a right way to do it.